Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to give the leave notice. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, a average person have 12 jobs during a span of 32 working years. When you decide to switch jobs, you might want to maintain a good relationship with your former employer. Consider the impact you may leave behind. Should you give your employer hands up well in advance, or should you give two weeks notice? If you are interested in this topic, please watch till the end, because I will give you some bonus tips on how to give notice when switch to competitors. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribe because I will provide career development tips each and every week. Let's come back to our main topic today, how to give a leave notice. Recently, I saw quite a few questions posted on Reddit asking, should I give two weeks notice or should I give a little bit longer because I'm afraid my current employer couldn't find a replacement after I leave. I think you still need to give a standard two-week notice. Why? Because first, this is industry standard. As most of people that I know who resigned from their previous employer, they always give two weeks. And also, I've been given two-week notice when I left my last job. This two-week notice is to show your respect to your former employer because most of our jobs are at will means the company and yourself can terminate at any time. So by giving two week notice, you are already give your employer some hands up and also help them to make the transition that needs to happen. The second reason that you should only consider giving two weeks notice is that your next employer may not able to wait you much longer. I know some of you wants to maintain a good relationship with your former employer and wants to give you a little bit longer leave notice. But you also need to think for your next employer. How long can they wait for you? Because in today's fast-paced world, most of the employer in our days want you to jump in their position right away. So that's another reason why you should stick with the two-week notice. The third and the most important reason is that Sometimes you don't need to overthink the importance of yourself at your previous position. In a lot of cases, because we are the person who are doing the details work, so we tend to think without us, our former company cannot operate. But it's not true. Think about another scenario. If your employer is get hit by a bad economy, or for example, during COVID, some of the smaller companies cannot sustain, will they give you more than two weeks notice? Most will not, right? So consider the same. You don't have to overthink the importance of yourself at that position. Without you, I'm pretty sure the company can still function. As some of you already experienced that it's very stressful when you want to leave your current job. So how can we give this two-week notice in a good manner? First of all, you need to prepare a formal hard copy of your resignation letter. Don't just try to verbally tell your boss. You have to have a resignation letter ready before you open up. In that resignation letter, you need to be specific on your last day. If any of you want a template of those type of resignation letter, please leave your email down below in the comments and I will send you a template. Second, schedule a meeting to formally turn the resignation letter to your direct boss or HR manager. In the meeting, focus on the positive. Tell them what you learned in that position and what do you appreciate the help from the organization. A personal suggestion is try to focus on the four Fs. Make sure you tell them it's a final decision. Make your points clear and make it formal. Focus on your family and future growth. After you finish, you can thank them again by providing you this opportunity. Last, I want to give you a bonus tip if you are switching into competitors. 
I think you should stick with this standard two-week notice. But pay attention, your current employer may let you leave at the same day when you turn in the resignation letter because you are joining a competitor. They don't want to take any risk of losing any valuable IPs. In a lot of cases, they will still pay you in the last two weeks. But you need to prepare in advance because you may not have a chance to say goodbye or even clean up your table. Okay, this concludes my topic for today. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click like button. And I appreciate. Also, if you have any specific questions regarding your leave notice, you can leave your question down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.